As a consumer and as just a fan and as a black woman, um, and I was a young actress when she ruined her, her star began to rise, and that was a very exciting thing to, to watch. And we felt, um, we felt like we were part of it. You know, we felt like, um, like she belonged to us. So many of us did, right? And then that grew to become the world where we all feel connected to Whitney Houston. Uh, but then after about a decade into that rise to fame, when she's at the height of her career, I had a personal relationship with her because I wrote two scripts for her. And so I got to meet her and I got to kind of see her as the woman who is um, yeah. behind the icon, you know, and that moved me tremendously. I met her father at the same time. So I, I got to know John Houston and, and kind of that dynamic and how she was very different than the image and how he was very protective of the image. I knew all that going into the movie and I tried to bring all that into the film. And then I would say through the process of doing the film, the, the relationships that I was less sure of or, or learned a lot more about were her relationships with Clive and how they created the music and just uh, Whitney's artistry and how she could interpret, how could, she could recognize a song, whether it would be a Whitney song and what she could do with the music. I mean, that was, that was a revelation for me. Um, and also her relationship with her mother, which I love. You know, um, I mean, you know that Sissy's her mother, but I didn't know that much about their, in fact, I knew more about Whitney and John because I was trying to write movies and John was more involved in that. And I didn't know as much about Sissy in the beginning and just Sissy being her teacher and her inspiration and her, her guide. Uh, so that was that was fascinating to me. And I, I think that the love stories, all of the love stories and, and her love for the audience and needing that love and the love that she gave the audience. Um, that's what I'm taking away.